besides being on two different zodiacs, the tropical and the sidereal, we now have the emphasis, and the emphasis is different. And the emphasis uh, on the Western is they go from the sun sign. Now, the sun sign is where your sun was, uh, you know, what uh, sign your sun was in when you were born. Now, that stays the same for approximately 30 days. So you can imagine there's a lot of people that are born within that 30-day period who have the same sign. But that's what you look at when you open up your newspaper and you see, like for me, I see Virgo, September 17th Virgo. Um, the, I look at that and, you know, it's really, most of the time it really doesn't apply to me. And that's because it's extremely general because we're talking about the sun sign, which lasts for 30 days. Now, the Vedic, on the other hand, goes with uh, what's called the rising sign or the ascendant. And the ascendant uh, doesn't change every 30 days. It changes every two hours. So you can see there's a huge difference between two hours and 30 days. So even though my sun sign is the same as people who've been born in that same 30-day period, um, my ascendant is going to be different from somebody who was born perhaps just minutes apart from me. And that's why you're going to see a big difference there. So why is that so important? Well, the ascendant in Vedic astrology is called the lagna. Now, this is an interesting term because it means literally that which has been screwed into place. And what it means is that all of, you know, the, the alignment of all the stars and the constellations, as they're shining down on me, as I'm coming out of the womb, right, as I'm being born, boom, at that instant, all of these karmic uh, and qualities and aspects of me get nailed down into one limited single person. So while I have all kinds of things that are, are part of my personality, this is, the, this is the point at which I get screwed down into this body and I become me. And that's why it's important to name a child as they're born. And in Vedic astrology, they would know, as I said, where exactly the moon was and or what the nakshatra and the exact portion of the nakshatra the star constellation that was affecting your moon when you were born, and they would give you your name based on that syllable, which is very specific. And so every time you call somebody by that name, uh, it empowers their that portion of their star constellation, and it, it helps their mind function at its best. So you can see the mindset is very different. So now you can see how the uh, ascendant and the sun sign go together. But from a practical perspective, again, how you interface with life, which is what is going to have all the ingredients for your success, your practical su success in life, you need to know how you physically interact with your life. And that's why the Ascendant is so important. So just to sum up, those are the two uh, main things about uh, that makes it different.